Hey there, today I would like to go over some of the new additions to um, Blender 2.66, uh, which was just released um, this week, and yeah, you can get that on, on the Blender.org website. Um, and I'm just going to go over a couple of the uh, functions that were added um, as it pertains to this um, modeling series here, because there was uh, some sculpt sculpt enhancements added which are really cool and a bunch of other stuff which you can check out on their site. Uh, I'm just going to go over the uh, mesh modeling, a couple of the mesh modeling tools here, um, namely the um, edge slide and the vert slide options and the uh, new addition to the bevel tool which allows you to bevel just the vertices pretty easily. Um, so first up, and just actually go the uh, actually we'll do the edge slide and the vert slide options here. Uh, before you had to do Control E and pick edge slide to slide the edges, and same with the vert vert selection, um, the vert slide just with Shift V. They just simplified this to where you can double tap the G key which is the single single use is to just grab something but double tap it and you can slide the vertice along the edges here and if you have an edge selected it will same double tap on the G will uh, enable the edge slide so it depends on just whatever you have selected and just c takes that <coughs> one extra key press out of there and just makes it a little easier and quicker to uh, use those functions. And now with the vertex bevel, um, I think to bevel an edge here, it's uh, I believe Control B um, to bevel a vertex. It's uh, Shift Control B, and you can set your um, thickness there and use like the mouse wheel to subdivide it and once you set it you can still have the controls over here as well uh, to uh, tweak with the settings what I have noticed is um, say if you have it subdivided a few times and it gives kind of a lumpy result and I have an edge split modifier on here and I've tried cranking it up and it <coughs> kinda smooths it out a bit Still looks a little, a little weird. Um, I also tried to use the um, smooth vertex here. It <coughs> kind of rips it apart. Works a little bit depending on the subdivisions, but it does like rip the corners here. But if you crank it up. I mean, it does, but it kind of stretches it out a little bit. You know, I think it, it works real well um, as a single, as like a single, um, single cut there. It looks real, real nice, and subdividing it kind of gives a lumpy result, but still functional. The one cool thing about the vertex bevel um, is for and as it applies to you know the series that I was doing um, cutting cutting the holes in uh, in your in your object it makes it a lot quicker and easier uh, just shift control B same thing same control subdivide it as you want but um, in order to like make that a hole just um, you can make this into a sphere or you can um, scale it to a sphere by using the two, um, two sphere option Oops, I should spell that right and you just drag your mouse to its uh, extreme limit there and give you gives you the circle and then you can actually just go in and um, delete these faces here and you have quick and easy um, hole cut in your object instead of um, like before I was you can uh, 
uh, create the you know like the, the square shape of the hole you want to cut and then you can you know delete the faces and go ahead and put a circle in there and line it up and fill it in or like I was doing with the oval here I'd create the oval shape and then shrink wrap it to the part that you want to cut out of um, this kind of cuts all those steps out and like um, I'm going to an empty layer here add a plane and you, you know you can subdivide a couple times here and if you wanted to do an oval shape real easy you just select you know your um, outer vertices of this hole you want to cut uh, shift control B open that up and then you would select each of these and use the two sphere option on both of them and then what I did, did was just I can just cut between these two vertices here cut them hit Z to cut through yeah it's still being funky but See if that, there we go. And just cut through here. And you can just go ahead and, and delete, you know, what you needed. And I just went ahead and you can just delete these faces here. If it will select them conveniently, there we go. select all those faces and just go ahead and delete those and there you don't have to do any kind of <coughs> shrink wrapping or anything to get it lined up and got your quick and easy hole there you know and it's, it just makes it easy when you you know say want to do a quick bunch of them shift control B open that up Makes it nice and easy. A lot quicker now. So that's a nice addition to the uh, modeling tools. Uh, I just wanted to go over real quick because it changes the whole point of cutting a hole in an object. As before, you know, you'd line up your your shape and, and then fill in all the spaces here. So and that's uh, about all I wanted to go over today, and thank you for watching.